In this module, we will see how to draw a refrigeration cycle that involves both superheating of vapors exiting the evaporator and subcooling of the uh, refrigerant leaving the condenser. So let's consider an example. We have an evaporator running at a temperature of 0 Celsius, a condenser operating at 40 degrees C, and the vapors exiting the evaporator are superheated by an additional 10 degrees C, whereas the refrigerant leaving the condenser is uh, subcooled by an additional 10 degrees C. So let's see how we can represent this on a pH diagram. First thing we will need to do is draw a line for the evaporator temperature, which is 0 C, starting with uh, 0 degrees C, which is shown on the uh, saturated liquid curve. Uh, we draw a horizontal line until it meets the saturated vapor curve. However, we will need to extend this line further into the superheated region because the vapors leaving the evaporator are superheated by an additional 10 degrees C. So what we need to do is extend this line until it meets the 10 degrees C constant temperature curve. Remember that the evaporator temperature is 0 C, so if we add the additional 10 degrees C because of superheating, uh, the temperature of the vapors will be 0 plus 10 or 10 degrees C, so the line must be extended to meet the 10 degree C constant temperature curve. So this is the point where we will need to follow the constant entropy curve. But before we do that, let's also draw the horizontal line representing the condenser, which is operating at 40 degree C. So we identify 40 degree C under the uh, saturated liquid curve, and uh, the same temperature, of course, we see on the uh, saturated vapor curve. So we draw the horizontal line and also extend it into the superheated region. Next, we uh, start from the point uh, that now represents the uh, superheated vapors leaving the evaporator, and we follow the constant entropy curve all the way to the point where it meets the line for the condenser. And uh, we identify that point on the top right-hand side. So that will be the location that will represent the uh, exit of that superheated vapors from the compressor. Now on the left hand side, note that the condenser is operating at 40 degrees C, but the refrigerant leaving the condenser is uh, subcooled by an additional 10 degrees C. So 40 minus 10 will be 30 degrees C. Uh, that will be the discharge temperature of the refrigerant from the condenser. So we will identify where we have 30 degrees C shown under the saturated liquid curve. And so from that point, we will draw a vertical line, which will represent a constant temperature line for 30 degrees C to where it meets the line for the condenser and we will also extend it all the way to where it meets the evaporator line. Note that the point in the subcooled region now is identified and the temperature of the refrigerant leaving the condenser in the subcooled state is at 30 degrees C. So here we have this uh, cycle representing both superheating and subcooling and uh, we will clean up the, uh, uh, any of the extraneous lines and we will also identify the points E dash, A dash, B dash, C dash, and D dash representing the superheated and subcooled state uh, shown on this chart. And let's also look at an animation that shows how a uh, cycle representing both superheating and subcooling uh, can be shown on a pH diagram. 